Inspiration comes from the weirdest places. Here I am just minding my own business, putting on YouTube videos in the background to listen to while I work on commissions, and up comes a recommended video from Kel Lauren, who does graphic design and redesigns corporate logos sometimes, and she's redesigning the Flamin' Hot Cheetos bag. I really like the video, I like her style, it's kind of funky and fresh, and it got me thinking about cartoon mascots for food and all kinds of other stuff that we saw growing up and how those characters have evolved and changed with the changing trends in animation. So I thought I'd explore how Chester Cheetah has changed over time in different animation styles throughout the decades that he's been the face of the Cheetos brand. And I don't even eat Cheetos. I have these. These are the these are the Blaze Doritos. They're vegan, so I have these. I don't even eat Cheetos. <laughs> and in doing research for this video, I found out that there's actually quite a few like really notable animators who have had their hands on Cheetos commercials and have brought Chester Cheetah to life in different ways. So without further ado, here's the animated history of Chester Cheetah. Did you know that Chester the Cheetah was not always the face of the Cheetos brand? In fact, the first Cheetos mascot was a mouse, creatively named the Cheetos Mouse, stylized with the dash between the chi and the toes, and he was pretty darn cute. Even though Cheetos have been around in some form since 1948, the Cheetos Mouse came on the scene in 1971. This cute mascot was designed by Mad Magazine illustrator Paul Coker, who was also the production designer for many beloved Rankin Bass Christmas specials. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. These great storyboards of the Cheetos Mouse were created by Bill Peckman, who was a lead animator on Schoolhouse Rock. I don't think I would have ever remembered what the function of a conjunction was without Schoolhouse Rock, so thank you, Bill. Though I wasn't able to pinpoint an exact year, the Cheetos Mouse seemed to fade out of use by the end of the 70s, and Cheetos lacked a cartoon animal salesman for a few years. Then came the 80s. Products in the 80s needed to be cool, and what's cooler than a Cheeto with sunglasses? In 1986, Chester Cheetah first graced our TV screens. Chester was created by a man named Brad Morgan, who, according to his former roommate, and I quote, was kicked out of a Rolling Stones rehearsal in Canada twice. To this day, nobody knows why. He also directed this commercial of a farting horse for Bud Light. These first series of commercials featuring the laid-back cat were actually animated by none other than animation legend Richard Williams, who sadly passed away very recently. You may know Williams' work from his Animator Survival Guide book, owned by myself and I think every cartoon and animation nerd on the planet, and for his incredible work on one of the greatest animated movies of all time, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You can recognize his style in the way the commercials are animated, it's on ones, which if you're not sure what that means, it basically means that since animation is 24 frames per second, in many cases animators animate on twos, meaning every other frame is unique drawing or 12 drawings per second. This is smooth enough looking for pretty much every case, but Richard Williams liked to take things to the next level and animate on ones, so his animation feels extra fluid since each second contains twice as many drawings as you typically see, and it creates a real sense of fluid motion that's pretty unique to look at. And it's a little much, especially for a TV commercial about a cheese snack, but I'm grateful for it because it's really beautiful. I was really pleasantly surprised to find out Richard Williams actually animated Cheetos commercials when I was doing research for this video, and turns out he did a lot of really other beautiful animated commercials for other brands as well. And it was a nice way for me to throw in a kind of brief but natural rest in peace to this titan of the animation industry. Thanks for all the awesome work, Richard. Chester's reign as the Cheetos champ continued, and his popularity reached a peak at the tail end of the 80s. Between 1986 and 1992, Frito-Lay attempted to create an animated series based on Chester called Yo! It's the Chester Cheetah Show. According to comments on a Cartoon Brew article from animators John Halfpenny, who worked on the Beetlejuice animated series, and Scott Shaw, the original pencil artist for the Archie comic Sonic the Hedgehog series, the series was shopped around from Fox to CBS and was apparently being worked on by Marvel Productions. Halfpenny claims that at least two episodes were fully boarded out, and the show was to feature a funky monkey, a rockabilly dog, and a hip-hop hippo. Looking through what storyboards did find their way onto the internet, I was able to find the funky monkey and the hippo, yes, that's really his name, but the only dog I found was named Grunt, and he didn't seem particularly rockabilly, at least in these particular panels, boards, but maybe that was fleshed out later. In the boards, I also found a fish named Cool Cat. On the one hand, it's a shame that these really nice storyboards went to waste, but on the other hand, Halfpenny referred to the series as a horror show, and pretty much every TV studio quickly put a kibosh on the whole thing due to outcry over what was essentially a 30-minute advertisement for junk food being sold as a fun cartoon for kids. And so we never did find out Chester Cheetah's dark backstory. 
Chester continued to appear as a wacky 2D character obsessed with Cheetos in commercials from the early 90s until the early 2000s. During this time, there was a funny Mexican commercial with some really dated CG parodying Terminator 2, the introduction of the dangerously cheesy slogan, an attempt at a real-life mascot costume iteration of Chester, and even a crossover commercial with Daffy Duck as Chester's stunt double. This 1999 commercial was also the first year in my search for Cheetos ads, where Cheetos dropped the Dash stylization and went from Cheetos to the Cheetos we know today. In 2001, a couple commercials with a distinct and recognizable animation style were put on the air. These were animated by none other than Cow and Chicken creator David Feiss, and it's pretty easy to see. I think they're incredibly fun to watch, and they're probably my favorite iteration of the character aside from the more laid-back Richard Williams version from 1986. Now just when 2D Chester was starting to get really fun and interesting, Cheetos flipped the switch and decided to modernize Chester with a fully 3D design, though some commercials would feature a hybrid of 2D and 3D Chester. These commercials, in my opinion, are by and large pretty uninteresting, and nothing of note really happened with the character or his design for the next few years. In 2006, Cheetos decided to try something new and interesting and add a storyline with continuity to an ad campaign featuring a new villain, Chef Pierre. Basically, the storyline, if you can call it that, of these ads is that Chef Pierre loses a cooking contest to Chester, gets real bitter about it, hacks his TV to warn him about his plot to steal the Cheetos secret recipe from the Cheetos safe, Plankton style. Uh, viewers can interact with the story by, I guess, going on Cheetos.com and watching more commercials, though I'm not sure anybody would ever want to do that or did do it. Then again, I did just spend a couple hours watching several decades worth of advertisements for a product I don't even eat, so... Anyway, these ads were something different for Chester, but he maintained his overall cool guy, laid-back nature, and the commercials had a pretty goofy vibe. Cheetos took a break from doing anything interesting for the next year or so, and in 2007 they just did a commercial with generic Chester dancing, being hip and cool, I guess. Nothing so far would prepare us for the total 180 Cheetos would pull in the following year. Targeting a more adult demographic, in 2008 Cheetos launched an ad campaign with several commercials and a website called Orange Underground. Essentially, the gist of the campaign was to encourage viewers to commit Rayox, R-A-O-C, random acts of Cheetos, by filming themselves doing some kind of prank similar to the lighthearted ones pulled in the ads. Conveniently, pulling these pranks required buying multiple bags of Cheetos, some of which you didn't even eat. Uh, I don't know if anyone sincerely did these random acts of Cheetos, since the ones I did find on my very brief YouTube search also appeared in this official looking montage, so I don't know if all these people were paid for by Cheetos, or if asking people to make these goofy videos was a way to get some free footage that they then used for this ad, or what. It's not really made clear. If anyone did make one of these videos and would like to fill me in on that, I'd be totally grateful. This one was the only one that actually made me laugh, though. <laughs> So where's Chester in all this? The commercials are very live-action heavy, but Chester does return in these ads as a more sinister, mean-spirited cat with a new accent. The overall vibe of this campaign seems to me like it was trying to reach for the Adult Swim demographic or just move away from a kitty image by switching it up from previous campaigns. But I do miss the old cartoony wacky Chester. It's a cheese snack, folks. Why does it have to be weird and edgy? I don't really get it, personally. Cheetos stuck with this weird, darker Chester for their first Super Bowl ad in 2009 as well. A less sinister trickster Chester was featured in this 2012 commercial, and it seems like from 2012 to 2019, Chester was toned down and turned into a mascot with no discernible personality who just hangs around people who happen to be eating Cheetos. At least edgy prankster Chester had a personality. Now we arrive at the present moment, 2019, a time when fast food and snack companies are more intolerable than ever and pretend to be real people having real conversations on Twitter. So of course it was time for a really stupid version of Chester. Behold, weirdly smooth 60 frame per second video game looking Chester performing his sick diss track against Doritos. It sucks, and it's bad, and I don't like it, and I don't know who does. Oh, and he also dresses up like Colonel Sanders to plug this flaming Hot Cheetos chicken sandwich, which sounds disgusting. This commercial double sucks not only because the sandwich looks foul, but because they try to do like a cheeky 90s parody thing with these people in the commercial, but they don't bring back the wacky fun 90s Chester Cheetah. It's still the personality-less CG Chester. So what even is the point of the 90s vibe? Go big or go home, cowards! So I guess that's it for 2D Chester. Aside from his weirdly shaped face being plastered on the bags of the products, he's been dead and gone since the early 2000s with no sign of returning. Considering how awful the ads have gotten since he went CG, maybe he just chose to skip town and retire somewhere warm. 
While I hate basically all of the 3D Chester commercials, dislike commercials in general, and think this particular snack product is nasty, the 2D animation in the earlier advertisements is really fun and sometimes legitimately beautiful to look at. And it's really interesting to me to see how many influential animators and creators had their impact on the image of this ridiculous character for so many years. Despite that these early commercials were just a paid gig for these animators, they clearly put care and attention into their work and really breathed life into this glorified logo. And that's something that just fascinates me as a lover of all things cartoon and all things... cheesy. I don't actually eat cheese. It was a bad joke. I guess all that's left to see is if animation trends swing back towards making 2D cool again, or if they're gonna go with a retro Chester, or completely reinvent Chester for another time. Who's to say, but nothing's gonna take away the glory of the original, cool Cheetos cat. Thanks so much for watching. If this gets any more than like 10 views, which is what I'm accustomed to on this channel, uh, I might do a series of these, hence the mascot snapshot in the title. Though, since this video did take more than like an hour to make, I might save it for a couple weeks in the future and just do a video I already have halfway done next week, just keeping it real. Thank you to my new subscribers for getting me over the 100 subscriber milestone, which was realistically my only goal with this channel. I just wanted the custom URL to put on my business card, so instead of youtube.com slash D3750WX or whatever it was. Now it's just youtube.com slash Alyssa Aaron. Much easier to remember and it fits much better on a business card. <laughs> if you'd like to see more cartoons and cartoony things, you can check out the other videos on this channel, subscribe to see more stuff when I do make it, or you can follow me at all the links in the description below to all my social media sites. So Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, basically everywhere that most people post artwork. I'm on there posting artwork and I have an ongoing series of drawing all the Animal Crossing villagers in alphabetical order. I post that three times a week on Instagram, so if you're interested in that, definitely follow me on Instagram to see the latest villagers that I've completed in the series. Thanks again for the 100 subscriber mark. I'm still really psyched about that, um, and have a fantastic day.